Here I'm going to explain how the AND and the OR function in Excel work. Now they only return one of two values, true or false, and by themselves they can be considered pretty basic, but they're very useful if you use them within an IF statement, and they can create very robust formulas that do a lot. So let me first explain what the AND and the OR statement do. The AND statement, which is just equals AND, open parentheses, that's going to make logical comparisons and you can make up to I believe 30 of them and each one's going to be separated by a comma. So say you make five comparisons. Is this cell greater than that cell? Is this cell less than that cell? So you've just made two comparisons. Now for the AND statement to return true, both of those must be true. If one of those is false, it's going to return false. Now that differs from the OR statement, which is equals OR, because in the OR statement, you only need one true value to make it true. So if you make two logical comparisons, one of which is false, the other of which is true, you're going to return a value of true. So that's the difference between them, and it's a little bit confusing, so let me illustrate how that works out. I'm going to do equals AND, open parentheses, if amount spent is greater than budget, comma, now I want to make another comparison, if growth potential equals yes, and you have to put text in quotation marks, so quote, yes, end quote. So now I've made two comparisons here. The AND function returns true, but if I make one of these comparisons false, so growth potential if that equals no, then I hit enter, the statement becomes false. Now the OR statement, if I do equals OR, open parentheses, make the same two comparisons, amount spent greater than budget, comma, does growth potential equal no. Now when I hit enter, it returns true. So this returns, the OR statement returned true because one of the logical comparisons was correct. Whereas the AND statement returned false because one of the logical statements was incorrect. So let me give you a better example of how to use this. Now I have here four divisions in a company. Their budget, amount spent, and whether or not there's growth potential. Now the answers to growth potential we're just arbitrary here, but say a consultant came up with these answers. So now you want to find out if that division needs review. And what I want to do here is I want to figure out if the amount spent was greater than the budget. But I also want to consider the growth potential. So I'm going to take the stance that if the amount spent was greater than the budget, that's bad. However, if that division has growth potential, then that's okay and the division does not need review so I'm leaning towards growth is good. But if the amount spent is greater than the budget and there is no growth potential, then that division definitely needs review. So I'm going to go ahead and use the AND statement here. Equals AND, open parentheses, and I want to say if the amount spent is greater than the budget, one comparison, then comma, if the growth potential equals, quote, no. So now I'm going to hit enter, and it returns false. So let's copy this down, and you see that there's only one division that needs true. Now, why is that? Because the first one is false, because it has growth potential, even though it's over budget. The second division has growth potential, and it's under budget. The fourth one has no growth potential, however, it's still under budget, so that's good. But number three has no growth potential and is over budget, so we do need a review. Now, the thing is, it's only gonna, the AND statement's only going to return true or false, but what if you want someone to look at this who doesn't understand what true or false means? So you want to output text. Well, that's where you use an IF statement. So I'm going to go over here to another needs review column. And I'm going to use the AND statement to output a sentence. 
So we begin by using an if formula equals if open parentheses and now what I'm going to do here for the logical test is input the and statement that I just made in the column to the left. So equals if open parentheses and open parentheses. Now here's where I make my comparison and I want to compare just like I did a second ago amount spent greater than budget comma and you can look in the formula bar that's where you'll see what's going on. It's going to be a little bit small for you but when you're doing it on your own. So now I'm going to make the same comparison I did a second ago. Growth potential equals comma or quote no end quote. Now what I want to do is close the parentheses for the and so that's my logical test in the if statement comma now if that's true what do I want to spit out? I want this column to say review ASAP and notice I'm putting the text within quotation marks however if the AND statement returns false I want to put in no review needed so now that's what the completed statement looks like equals if and I've got my AND formula here and then if it's true, if it's false. So enter. No review needed. I'm going to drag that down. And then you see it only says review ASAP for the third division. And it's easy to understand how that works now because you can see in the left hand column I have true. So the AND statement returned true and when I put it in the IF formula that's why it did review ASAP here. Now it may take a little bit of getting used to to put the AND and the OR statement in the IF formula but it's going to look like that and um, if you want to get a, if you want to take a look at this spreadsheet just download it from the website and it's uh, it'll help you out. So that's how you use the AND and the OR function in a spreadsheet and within an IF statement.